Welcome back to Fallacy February with 90 Philosophy and Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with categorical logic fallacies, looking at the existential fallacy for Boole. Now, if you haven't taken a look at the video on Boole versus Aristotle and the Boolean logic versus Aristotelian logic, you are probably going to be pretty confused by this video, so I'd strongly advise you do that, or at least catch up on some of the other categorical logic videos I've been doing. With that out of the way, let's get going. So, if I take the statement, all horses are mammals, my Venn diagram would look like this. I shade in the area of horses that are not also mammals. It might seem that we could, from this statement, conclude that some horses are mammals. That would look like this. If we were using Aristotelian logic, this inference would be allowed. However, for Boolean logic, it is fallacious because it assumes that at least one horse exists. And who knows, maybe all the horses died out. So this proposition would not be valid. We couldn't validly go from all horses are mammals to some horses are mammals. It's the existential fallacy, at least for Boole. Similarly, if our statement is no fish are razor blades, and our Venn diagram looks like that, and we want to conclude that some fish are not razor blades, we are not allowed to do that on the statement no fish are razor blades alone. Once again, because it assumes the existence of at least one fish, which might not be the case. In this case, it's the existential fallacy for Boole, existential, exist. Aristotelian fallacy is going to look a little bit different, and we'll take a look at that in the next video. So that was existential fallacy for Boole. Aversion is also today. Yesterday was illicit contraposition and contraposition. Tomorrow, as I said, is going to be the existential fallacy for Aristotle and the type token distinction. Watch a new video every single day for 100 days here at carnadies.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.